Hello boys and girls, Lammykins and I are here for another exciting episode of The Listening Game. Oh, this is Steve. Shh, please be quiet. Oh, what is it, dear? The babies are sleeping. Oh, I see what you mean. They're adorable. The baby sheep, the little lambs are sleeping. Shh, quiet, please. We'll set them over here nap time and of course this reminds us of our special sound of the week s h which makes the sound shh teacher's favorite blend mom's favorite blend and lammykin's favorite blend that's right lammykin likes it because sheep begins with s h well we'll go ahead and put s h up on the whiteboard here to join our other special sounds and oh my goodness I don't believe it Billy the boys have been at it again <laughs> oh yeah this is Dave they just have so much fun with this I know what do they do when we're not here my goodness well let's see what they've come up with now let's see we've got one bean over here plus how many beans do you think are over here what's your prediction one plus now we know it's the nines family. Mm -hmm. Let's count to be sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you said one plus eight equals nine, you are correct. And of course we know the twin is true. Eight plus one equals nine. Mm -hmm. And of course the plus one rule. It's gonna equal the number that comes after the other number. The number after eight is nine. So. Fellas, nice job with this. Ah, it's so much fun, Mrs. Neve. Glad the boys enjoy it. Well, let's get back to the listening game. You'll want to have your supplies ready to go. A piece of paper, a pencil, uh, some crayons or markers for the pictures. So if you need to pause the video, go ahead and do that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. Keep in mind we are featuring our special sound of the week, SH. Shh. In, uh, let's see, I need my red marker. In box one, go ahead and put four lines, please. One, two, three, four. In box two, put five lines. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. In box three, put five lines. One, two, three, four, five. And in box number four, put six lines. Mm -hmm. You can do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Get those lines and boxes ready to go. And Lamykins, will you be assisting us? Uh, I would be happy to, Mrs. Neve. I am just so excited about this game because it has SH in the words. That's right. Now, you'll find that SH might be at the beginning of the word or it might be at the end of the word. Okay, well hopefully you've got your lines and boxes ready to go and we're going to start with word number one in box number one. Let me check my list. Ah yes, the word is fish. Fish. Start with your beginning sounds. Fish. Okay, let's see how you did. Fi, I can hear the F-I blend at the beginning. Fish, of course, our special sound S-H is the ending sound in fish. Hey, Bing Bing, I think it was on our S-H handwriting paper too. That's right, alrighty. Word number two. Again, you should have five lines. Let me check my list. Ah, yes. The word is shell. Shell. I found a shell at the beach. Shell. Sound it out and write it down. I thought you were supposed to be quiet because the babies are sleeping. Oh, yeah. Shh. 
shall. Keep in mind, you do have five lines in this word. What might you have to do at the end there? Hmm. Well, let's see how you did. We'll start with our beginning sound, sh, of course, sh. S, H, sh, a, e, shell. You can hear the L at the end. Now you do have an extra space. Did you figure out what to, an extra line? Did you figure out what to do with it? Yes, you need a double L at the end. If you recall, some short words that end in L will have a double L, like well and tell and sell. A little list of rhyming words for us there. Oh, you know what? We have to mark our vowels and circle our special sounds. We'll start with shell since we just did it. Circle your SH and then there's just one vowel, the E, so go ahead and put the smile over the E. Let's go back and mark fish because I forgot to do that. One vowel, short, get your smile there, circle your SH. Excellent, I think we're up to speed there. All right, box number three, five lines, and your word is brush, brush. I wanted to brush my hair, brush. Let's check it out. See how you did. Br. Ooh. B. R. Which is another special sound. I'm thinking I'm I in the way. So, can you see me writing? Mm, I think I have to come to this side. Br. Uh. You need the U. Brush. There's our S H at the end of the word. S. H. Well, let's go ahead and circle that SH. And we're going to mark our vowel, U. There's just one, so it's short. Uh, there's my smile. And guess what? You get to circle another special sound. You can circle that BR. Br. Mm -hmm. You've got another consonant blend there. Very good. All righty. Let's get ready for word number four. Remember, this one is six letters. So you've got six lines to fill. And the word is shapes. Shapes. We've been learning about some new shapes. Hopefully you've been having fun with the tanagrams. Shay. I know your question. You can hear the long A and you're wondering, what two vowel combo am I going to use? Is it going to be, oh, I don't think you can see it. Is it going to be super E at the end, like late? Or is it going to be the AI two vowel combo, like in wait? Or is there AY where it, Y is acting like your second vowel, like in day? It is super E at the end. Super E is going to give you the long A sound. So, on line number five, Count over five. One, two, three, four, five. Put an E, because that is where your silent E is going to go. And the word shapes. Do you think they're ready, Mrs. Neve? Let's give it a try. Ready, boys and girls? What is the beginning sound? Shh. Right. S H. We'll put it down. S H. Sh A. You're right. We need the long A. So there's our A. Shape. Letter P. And then, of course, there's your silent E shapes 
Yes, there's an S at the end. So we must be talking more than one shape here, right? Yeah. Let's go ahead and circle our special sound SH. Mark your vowels, please. We've got one, two vowels, so our A is long. We're going to go ahead and put a straight line over it. X out that silent E because you do not hear it. Okay, we are ready to draw some pictures. I'm going to set you down for this, Slammy Kids. All right, I'll tend to the babies. Very good, dear. All right, let's look at word number one, and let's go ahead and read it so we know what to draw. Mm -hmm. Fish. Fish. So let's draw a fish. Uh, I think I'm going to make my fish, ooh, I'm going to go with a dark green here. And a great way to make a fish is just if you want to do a curvy line that way at the top, and then another curvy line at the bottom. And then a triangle makes a great tail for your fish. So you could do a triangle back there for the fish's tail. If you want to give the fish lips, you can kind of do, it's almost like you're making a three there by the fish's head. That would be a backwards three. And then you could give your fish some fins at the top. I kind of just do some little curvy lines like that at the top and the bottom for his fins. Of course, your fish needs an eye and a fin there on the side. And there's your fish. Maybe I'll draw some bubbles coming up just for fun. There we go. Put some stripes on my fish. There we go. Pretty cute. Yes, I think God had a lot of fun making fish. There's so many different kinds. And fish were made on day five of creation. Alrighty, let's go on to word number two. Would you read it for us, please? Mm -hmm. Shell. Shell. And by the way, you could even circle your double L because it's making a special sound, too. You've got a double L when you really just hear one. Who knows why they put it there? Okay, drawing a shell. I'm going to. There's different kinds of shells. I think I'll use brown. Um, it could be a, like a conch shell, it could be more like an oyster or a clam. I'm going to do one of these shells where. I'm going to have it like an upside down U there, and I'm going to bring some lines in here, kind of slanted down and meeting in the middle there, and I'm going to draw some lines coming down like this towards the bottom of it to be one of those shells like that. In fact, I think I'm going to bring it down a little farther. There we go. A line there, too. There's my shell. Now, if you really wanted it to make, make it fancy, if you made, I think it would look more like a shell if I made these lines kind of curved looking in between each of those straight lines that I drew. That's going to give my shell more of a shell look, I think. Yeah, I think that helps. Or maybe it looks like a turkey. It's supposed to be a shell. Alrighty, well let's look down at word number three. And let's go ahead and read it. Mm -hmm. Brush. Brush. Now, um, this could be a hairbrush, it could be a toothbrush, maybe a brush for your pet. Um, I'm going to do a toothbrush. And I think I'll go ahead and do a red toothbrush. And so I just need a long kind of ovalish line there for the handle of the toothbrush. Now the head of the toothbrush, is, which is where the bristles are, they would normally be white, but white doesn't show on a whiteboard. So I'm just going to use some use black there to make the bristles of my toothbrush. Put it right in. There we go. There's my toothbrush. And 
now, let's take a look at word number four. And go ahead and read it, please. Mm -hmm. Shapes. Shapes. And we're learning about shapes, so this is the perfect word. Uh, I think I'm going to try and do some of the shapes that we've learned. Um, one of them was the, ooh, the trapezoid. The trapezoid, remember, it's the one that looks like the tri triangle that has the top cut off. So an easy way to make that is just to make your triangle. Now, you'd want to do this with Mr. Pencil. Don't use your crayon or marker at first because then you can't erase it. I've got whiteboard markers so I can erase it. But uh, I would take your triangle and then a straight line to cut off the top tip of your triangle and then erase that top tip, which we mentioned actually looks like another little triangle. Erase that and you've got a pretty good looking trapezoid there. So there's my trapezoid. And I think I'm going to color it in. Okay. My trapezoid. Now, another one we learned was the parallelogram. Now that's a mouthful, isn't it? Parallelogram. And a parallelogram looks kind of like the rectangle, remember, that's kind of slanty looking. So I'm going to do like my two long lines for the rectangle, but I'm not going to make straight lines on the opposite sides because that'll be a rectangle. I've got to make them slanted. So I'm going to make one slanted that way and this one slanted that way. Then I can erase that line and I've got my parallelogram. So I'll go ahead. Now remember, you do have to do more than one shape when you're drawing your shapes because we added an S and that to the end of shapes and that means more than one right so go ahead and make more than one shape and I'm realizing I am covering this up so you can't see sorry about that I'm trying to color in my parallelogram here okay probably should come down a little more that way alrighty I have room for one more shape and I'm gonna do that other new one the hexagon yeah, the six-sided one. Uh, now, in our tenograms, the hexagons are yellow, but I don't think yellow is going to show up too well for the camera. So I'm going to do a dark green hexagon. And I wonder if I turn, yeah, if I turn it that way, I think that'll work out better. Now, it's got, a hexagon has six sides, remember? So make a straight line at the top. Got your straight line. And then... You've got to do a couple slanted lines coming down. It's almost looking like a trapezoid, because remember how I put two trapezoids together in that puzzle and it looked like a hexagon? So I've got my trapezoid there. I'm going to scooch down here because it's just easier to draw. Uh, okay, so there's my lines there. Now I've got to make two more lines slanted down and then one line across at the bottom. Now, I know it's not the most even hexagon, but it does have six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I really need to make this side straighter. That's bothering me. Okay, so let's make this straight across like that. This needs to come down a little bit more and then over. Let's fix this side of the hexagon too. I mean, we want it to look good, right? So. We'll bring this over a little bit and then bring our line straight down. Yeah, I think that's better. There is my hexagon. And now I have shapes, three of them to be exact. Let's see. I don't think I'll take the time to color in the hexagon. There we go. So it'll be interesting to see what shapes you decide to draw. In fact, I would love it, especially since um, I won't be able to see yours for a little while, at least until Thursday when you turn them in. Um, I would love to see your listening games. If you would post them on Teams, we would love it. Other friends could see it too, because I not only like to see your spelling, which is great, but I love to see your pictures too. So, boys and girls, thanks for playing, and shh.